My name is Roger Saul. I'm founder of Mulberry. Um, my later career has been Sharp and Park, spelt food brand, from farm to fork, and then finally opened Kilver Court Designer Outlet Village five years ago. Today I'm going to give a glance across my life, which will be talking about creating, designing, and brands. I hope what they'll find is that somebody who has an entrepreneurial spirit, who's prepared to go out and find the business and learn their markets, really can have a fantastic business. In the early days of Mulberry, by about 75, I was exporting 80% of all of our production. And I think by going out to the market, visiting and understanding what those retailers were, who your competition was, what their pricing structure was, and who was hot at that time, you had to find where you were going to squeeze in. Um, so I think without exporting, we wouldn't have, Mulberry wouldn't have been the business it is today. No question. UKTI, these people are experts in their markets. And if you want to know what's happening in Finland, you want to know who is importing or distributing, who the agents are, it's their job to find out for you. They may not know first time round, but if you go and talk to them, they will find out for you. I think you've got to be very alert to the fact that currencies can move up and down dramatically. So the States was our first big market, but we lost it all in the first world recession because the pound dollar, we became 50% more expensive. And the States is quite capricious. So to me, my best advice was nice little business, but don't go too far. Um, far East, uh, when I was doing Mulberry, really China wasn't just opening up very beginning days, but Japan perhaps was the China of today. And I went, I visited, I found distributors, ultimately we opened shops, and that was a really, really good market. But I learned how to speak a bit of Japanese. So I think of anything I would suggest to anybody who's exporting, try and learn people's languages, try and get close to them. The key takeaways that I hope I will give people today when they come to hear me will be, you've got to have structure behind you, you must have passion, um, structure, family, partner, whatever it is. If you're exporting, that means traveling a lot. So you've got to visit the market and you'll hear me talk about all sorts of experiences out in the marketplace. Understand the culture that you're trying to export to. Um, do understand the implications of getting your product there. In my early days, every currency was different, French franc, German Deutsche Mark, there was no common market. It took three weeks to get there, it cost a fortune, and we had to get letter of credits, whatever, set up. So the chances of you actually delivering anything were small. By the time we finished, we were free delivering local currency in seven days at a cost of under 5%, but we controlled that. So we made sure it was possible for the customer not to have to worry about any of those problems. So I think things like that would be my key points today.